Hello. This is a review on Bento 2, um, which is the next version of Bento, released by FileMaker. And you can get it a 30-day free trial from FileMaker.com slash Bento, and they'll redirect you to this page. So you can just click Try Now here, and it'll ask you a whole bunch of information like name, email, address, date of birth, something along those lines and once you download it you can just open up the um, drive and just drag Bento into your applications folder so the first thing you'll see when you launch Bento is this home screen here now this is where you can learn about Bento um, just automatically set up address book and iCal create a library to store beta data and you can click this button to just start using um, Bento immediately so this is um, the overall view and on your address book where you will be able to see all the people in your address book um, so here you can add like notes like my school 840 um, and you can add whatever notes you want there and you can click this add button wait my bad no you just drag anything that you want so like a home address I have no idea why I actually drag this and then you can just click the delete button to delete it so you can add in pictures, which is annoying is that you can't really search for them in here. There are a whole bunch, so it can take a little while sometimes to find it. So here's picture, which is apparently already in here. Yeah, it's right up here. And so then you can just drag in the picture that you want. And if all of these aren't enough for you, can you can add your own field, and you can set it for IM accounts, URLs, email addresses, phone numbers, addresses, ratings, counters, currency, a whole lot of things, duration, messages, and this is what they added that's new, is that you can add email messages, but Gmail, I mean not Gmail, mail, is not completely integrated with it, so that if you get a new message in mail, it's not going to automatically appear in Bento. You have to drag um, the things that you need. And here's your file, miss, media, checks box, all sorts of things. So let's say I wanted text. Um, so let, or not number. And maybe I could name the field ID number or whatever. And then it'll give you these options. And once you're done, you can just click create and continue. And then it just created it. Then you just need to drag it in like this and then it's dragged in and you can also make this bigger and smaller as you would with anything else you can also change the background of your bento theme and you go by clicking thi well this brings up the table view um, that is over here and this is also where you can add in more fields so you can name the form personal or something and then you can add in a custom field there Ooh, now from here you can import um, Excel projects that you've previously made and export this as .csv files I think this is like custom thing um, now then you have your dress books underneath it common stuff and then you have your iCal events iCal tasks it takes a little while to load in between each run sometimes and um, projects which is just the default so you can just create so you can I'm um, just name this, let's say, like, 
school schedule. Yeah. That's spelled wrong, but whatever. And here you can just drag things out if you don't want them. Do I say delta schedule? Delta schedule. And so here, you, let's say I wanted to add in um, projects. So I could add in a project. Ooh, let's find it. Or actually, it's not project. I would use it as a project. But if you click create here, you can make a file list. And then you can drag in files. Let's say, um, math document. And then I can create and continue. It's been created. And then you can close it. And then here it is. If, and then I can just drag this in. And if you're working with a collaborative project, you can maybe insert their name, last name. And let's say if you're getting emails about um, what you have to do, you can set priority here. And how to sort it. Yeah, let's get the priority. Oh, yeah, no, you just set the priority um, yourself. But you have to have an email already in there. And it's the priority that you created in mail. Um, and then if you want to create your own, you can just click create. And it will give you um, templates that you can work from. And you files, time billing, event planning, inventory, maintenance, classes, media, products for sale, student list, equipment, items sold, issue tracking, all sorts of things. And then you can further divide them into educational things so it's easier to find personal and work. And then you can name it here. So let's say, uh, I have no idea. Business, since I don't really have one. And then here you can import data. Um, which right now I don't have any Excel lists, so I can't import it. But if you had an Excel list that you made from Excel, then that's what you could do. You can import it from there. And then again, you can just set it up as you want. And if you want to change background, you can go to Choose Theme, and then there are a whole bunch of themes that you can choose from, like Ultraviolet all sorts of things bookworm all sorts of things that you can change it to and that's pretty much the basics of bento um, again it's fifty dollars from filemaker.com slash bento you should probably download the free trial just to see if you like it I personally would get it but really annoying is that when they're going to make upgrades pro they'll probably end up making a bento 3 um because they're new you can't like integrate mail which i've seen on the apple website like tons of people have been complaining about and rating it one star for that um but the annoying thing is is what they do is that you're going to have to pay full price um the next time a new release is, a new update is released. They're not going to make different prices for it. And so that's it. This is a review on Bento, which is a database application. And that's it. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and check my page for other um, tech videos. Okay, bye.